Welcome to the Great Exodus series, God's plan of rescue for his children. Let my people go, the path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And today our topic is how long? How long will you stand aside and not follow the path of the Lord? How long will you sit in your churches? And how long will you think about it? How long will you not take the path to Mount Zion? How long will you be swaying between opinions? How long will you wait until you come forth? The Lord has opened a door for you, but you are tearing. You are waiting. Waiting for what? Everything is already here. Now, how long will you sit in the world, in your careers, in, in your worldly thinking? looking for worldly honors instead to bring in the harvest. How long will you wait until you realize that you have gone out already, out of the world and out of Babylon? How long will you wait until you come together in the new restored altar of the book of Acts? How long will you wait? How long will you rely on the wolves in sheep clothing in your churches? How long will it take for you to realize that what you are fed are lies? How long will you listen to your technology instead to the word of the Lord? How long will you not stay with Jesus Christ? And how long will you refuse to take your course and walk that path to his holy mountain? How long are you remaining in the darkness instead to step onto the path of love and righteousness and into the light? How long will you listen to these false teachers and false prophecies that will bring you into complacency instead to do action? How long will you listen to false doctrines and false teachings? When will you make a stand? When will you step forward into your glory, to the glory of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? How long has he to call for you? How long has he give his mercy to you? What happened if one day you will wake up and mercy is not any more extended? How long will it take for you to understand that if you want to survive, you have to come out of the world and out of Babylon. How long will you rely on governmental agencies that will enslave you? How long will you follow Satan, the devil, and his demons through the technology, through videos, through Hollywood movies? When will you draw the line in the sand? And when will you step through that open door onto the path to Mount Zion, the mountain not carved by human hands? How long has the Lord to wait for you? Make up your mind. Stand now on the side of the Lord or take his breath. In the seal period, there are only two sides, either with the Lord or against the Lord. And you have to decide. Step forward now. Establish societies of the rose in your neighborhood. Walk that path with us together in love, unity and support. Come forward now. Do not tarry any longer in your lukewarm churches. Take your faith to the next level and walk in the great exodus towards the holy mountain, towards Mount Zion, where you will be ruptured into paradise, and be with God the Father and his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, forever and ever. How long will you wait? How long shall I talk to you? How long shall I preach you every day the same thing? How long will it take for you to understand that you have to come together? How many storms must come? How many Bahamas must be shown to you 
until you will understand that only unity will bring you forward. How many bad examples in your churches must be given until you understand that they are not the right places for you? How many times must you read the book of Acts before you understand that you have to share resources, support one another, and care for one another? How long will it take you to take your cross and walk that path that Jesus did? How long? There is no time any longer. Now you have to decide either to stand on the heavenly side or on the side of darkness, on the side of the Antichrist. The time has come for you to decide. Step into the light and leave the darkness behind. Come out of the world and out of Babylon. The time is now. Now is the time to decide to worship at the true and restored altar of love, unity and support and not anymore on the false one of prosperity or poverty or hyper grace or anything like that. Now is the time to move forward. Now is the time to lift your face onto a new level, the level of the sealed tribulation, the level of coming forth to the Lord, the level of being part in the rapture and the level of being written in the book of life. Now is the time. How long will you wait until you make a decision? If you do not make a decision, then a decision will be made for you. A tower moment will come to your life. But then it might be too late. So take a decision right now. Make a choice. Take a leap of faith. Lift up your face to a new level. Become an early Christian. Step forward. Partner with us, with triple grace. Become an elder, a state or national leader. Step forward into your glory. How long will you wait? How many messages have I to give you before you understand? How many prophetic words have to come from the Holy Spirit before you will understand that you have to do it right now? There is no time any longer. Step forward now. Lift up your hands to prayer. Praise the Lord. Praise God, Jehovah. He has opened a door for you. Step through it. Come together in faith, in true faith, and walk in spirit and faith towards the mountain. Worship at the true altar, the altar of the Lord. Chase away the demons and the devil from your sight. Repent. 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 The societies of the rose are waiting for you. Step into your light right now. In Jesus' name I pray. Thank you that you have listened to this topic today. The time has come for you to make a decision. Follow the steps of the Lord. Walk his path. Lift up your face. Team up with us. Become a partner, an elder, a state leader, a national leader. The link is in the first pinned comment. Step forward now into your destiny. Thank you. I hope that you have understood the message today, that we are running out of time. And I hope that I will see you again tomorrow for the next topic. May God bless you and your family abundantly. Have a great day. Maranatha.